Hello everybody, right in front of me I have two cubes and you're wondering which one's going to be better. So as you see in the title, this is Rubik's versus DIY. So yeah. So I'm just going to go over these two cubes. So first of all, if you're DIY, uh, you have to order it online. So that's kind of bad. You have to wait a while. But with store-bots, that's basically its name. You can just go to the store and buy it. These are $10 at the store, and these are like $9.50 plus shipping. It depends what kind of DIY you get. Um, so yeah, the DIY, you can, it spins really good. And not only can you, it spins really good, but you can adjust how fast or how tight this cube can be. If I can just get a center cap off, okay. So you have these center caps. And you have the screw. Which basically you can put the screwdriver in and turn it how tight and how loose you, you want it to be, but I have it set to the perfect tension so I really don't want to mess that up. But Rubik's cubes, regular Rubik's brands, don't have that. You can take they do have center caps, but they're glued on there. And when you take them off, um, it's just uh, uh, not a pivot screw, but it's just like a, a nail or something. It just sticks in there. Um, DIYs can cut corners to a certain extent. But with a lot of modding with the Rubik's brand, like mine, it can cut corners. But this one is brand new and you can't cut corner. Oh. And but just gets jammed in here. Um so that's pretty much my video. Uh Rubik's vs DIYs. Personally I think uh DIY is better. Personally I think DIY is better. But post post a comment, tell me what you think's better. Do you prefer Rubik's brand or DIY? Uh, so yeah, see you guys later, comment, rate, and subscribe, and yeah, see you guys later.